A federal judge ordered a man to remain behind bars just weeks after prisoners at a Dallas church locked the door to prevent him from entering with a gun. FBI agents dug through old records and charged the man in connection with a fatal 2022 shooting. Until those charges, he was free from custody, but police closely watched him. Fox 4's David Centenary has all the details. David. Yeah, police records reveal that the gunman regularly attended the church that he tried to walk into, allegedly with that tactical rifle. In newly obtained police and court records, officials say Russell Allen Ragsdale Jr. stood from his front row seat at St. Augustine Catholic Church in Dallas's Pleasant Grove neighborhood on November 2nd and approached the priest, embraced him, and kissed him on both cheeks before giving the priest a note reading, May peace be with you. Then Ragsdale allegedly went to his car, put on a black and white poncho, and grabbed a tactical rifle. Police say he closed the gate to the parking lot before trying to re-enter the church while 100 people were inside. Parishioners, however, locked the doors to keep him from getting in, and a man outside convinced Ragsdale to put the rifle on the ground until police arrived. According to Dallas police records obtained by Fox 4, the man who talked Ragsdale into dropping the weapon believes he may have wanted to shoot people at the church. Ragsdale's girlfriend told police he was drunk and having emotional issues. Ragsdale was charged with misdemeanor disorderly conduct, but federal investigators discovered he was charged with a 2022 murder of his roommate in Seagaville. That murder charge was dismissed, as Ragsdale claimed the shooting was self-defense. At the time, Seagaville police seized a pistol, shotgun, and rifle. Now, federal investigators examining his phone say there's evidence of a history of drug use dating back to 2021, as well as evidence of Ragsdale purchasing and using hallucinogenic mushrooms in the hours before the fatal 2022 shooting. For that, he's charged with felony possession of a firearm by an unlawful user of a controlled substance. And I think they're trying to be innovative. Richard Roper is a former U.S. attorney for the Northern District of Texas not connected to this case. Roper believes it's clear that federal prosecutors view Ragsdale as a threat and are getting creative in coming up with a charge to try to bring Ragsdale to justice for what they think is a legitimate crime. If convicted, Ragsdale faces up to 15 years in a federal prison. Now, according to the federal complaint that we obtained, Dallas police officers have been conducting surveillance on Ragsdale throughout the past month, just monitoring him, different places that he's going. I did have an opportunity to speak with Ragsdale's mother just about an hour ago. She contacted me after I had reached out to their family. She's saying that she believes this is all a misunderstanding. She does not believe that her son wanted to cause any sort of harm to anyone and that he has the full support of her family.